And tell me a little bit about your interest in, in Vatican II and sort of like the, the changes and the modernization of the Catholic Church, because I've seen you say in some other interviews that that was kind of an interest you had even before you found like the Mother Teresa story, and that was something you, you kind of had well, been interested in. what happened with in. me was like I found, I, I, I found the Mother Teresa story, and it was really interesting, and I realized that I didn't know that like a great deal about nuns. So then I went on Amazon, and I was like not thinking of making a movie or anything like that. I was like, I'd like to know a little bit more about nuns and their love relationships. And um, there's a like small but like rich canon of memoirs of ex-nuns um, that started in like the 80s through the 90s, like women who had been 20 years out of Vatican II, and they're all um, they're all consumed with like two subjects, and the two subjects are their time in the novitiate and the impact of Vatican II. And when I went on Amazon, it was like, if you like this book, you might like this book. You might like this book. You might like this book. And I have a, I'm a, I have a, I'm like a compulsive personality, so I will frequently like order like 30 books that I don't read. And in this situation, I ordered 30 books, and I was like, they were sitting on my kitchen counter, and I was like, oh my god, like this is the 50th time that I've ordered like 30 books that I won't read. So I'm going to actually read these, <laughs> and I read them all. I did read them all. Like I did, I was, you know, like I got into it. I got like, obsessive about it, but. Um, but Vatican II, if you were researching the subject of nuns, Vatican II is it. Like, Vatican II is everything that came up constantly. And I remember when I was first looking for books to buy, because I was like, naively, I was like, oh, I don't want to buy all of them, so let me just, like, find a couple that are interesting. And these nuns, these ex-nuns and present nuns, were, like, sounding off in the comment sections about Vatican II and these, like, crazy, like, arguments. And I was like, oh, my God, like, what are they talking about they're so they're so worked up about something they're like oh well this she shouldn't have said this and uh, we all know this and da, da, da. and I was like what are they talking about and so it, yeah so Vatican II is like if you're interested in the subject of nuns Vatican II is it I but was it was. difficult to kind of work that into whatever story you were kind of working on for the nuns because I'm I'm very interested in in Melissa Leo's kind of reaction to it, the way she tries to refuse it, and it's almost like saying, I, "I'm I'm just not going to acknowledge the future. Like I won't. I'm not going to let it happen." And was it was it difficult for you to sort of like work the Vatican II ideas into the sort of nun story, or like that was? No, it's the first thing I did. The first thing I did. The first thing I did was I spent like a couple weeks writing a stream of consciousness in the. Um, head and voice, like, for no reason. I didn't think I was going to make a movie. I just, I'd read the Mother Teresa stuff, and I was really interested in the idea of, like, a woman getting a divorce, a woman in a, div in a divorce situation. I had, I had friends who were getting divorces, and they were, like, so crippling and, like, so awful, and, like, they felt such a feeling of failure. And so it was, like, about this woman who's, like, in her 50s. It was, like, this kind of, like, diary entries of this woman who's in her 50s, and her man, God, is, like, leaving. Her husband is leaving. And um, it was just, like, writing, like, like from someone else's voice. And she's, like, falling apart. And the biggest problem, or one of the biggest problems, is the fact that, like, she has to go in front of this whole convent and be the voice of God, who is her husband. But her husband's, like, out the door. So it was kind of like, it was kind of like, a story about divorce. The first thing I wrote was like a story about divorce because I just had a bunch of girlfriends that were getting divorced at the time that I was writing it. And it was like a story about divorce and a weird sense of failure that seemed we uh, inappropriate to me because I, I, I didn't think my friends deserved to feel the sense of failure about it. But she's feeling the sense of failure, but at the same time she has to go in front of these other girls. Like people have to kind of, you know, whatever, and like say like, you know, God told me that, you know, I'm the voice of God, blah, blah, blah. And it's mean, like, in her, the back of her mind, she's like, my man is not present, so my relationship is not real, so. 